Hey, what's going on, folks? Mike back here in the Shaved Den. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Thank you very much for tuning in for a Father's Day shave. Today is Father's Day. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, by the way. I uh, hope you guys really enjoy the day with your families. Um, wanted to get a shave in today. It's a beautiful day here in New York. It's perfect weather, uh, sunny, clear skies, 75 degrees, so not too hot. Uh, nice breeze. And uh, I was thinking about what I wanted to shave with today. Um, it's kind of uh, getting me in the mood of uh, the summer and some uh, Caribbean vacations that are coming up with the families that I wanted to uh, kind of get into the mood with. Um, and these are some soaps that have kind of been um, neglected for a little while. And I wanted to show some love to Sterling, as you guys saw from the thumbnail. So I'm going to be shaving with uh, boat drinks today from Sterling. Um, this is outstanding. Uh, one of my favorites. This is one that I picked up a year and a half ago. So this is the old formula. I know you guys may have seen Rod um, make a decision after being unable to obtain um the scent oils for the banana that's part of boat drinks and uh, even though it was a decent banana oil it was not the original one uh, so I know Rod and Mandy had decided to uh, put that um, boat drinks on hold for the time being in hopes that at some point he can obtain the original oils for uh, the banana um, this is absolutely very well done and one of my favorites from Sterling. And I respect the fact that although it was a good substitute, it wasn't what Rod had in mind and it wasn't the original what he intended it to be. Um, and I believe the story was, I know throughout the pandemic, with all the craziness that we were all facing, I think this is a story I heard. I'm not sure and I apologize if it's not right. Uh, he wanted to kind of put something out to kind of get him in the mood uh, of being on vacation, being in the Caribbean, um, and having something kind of to take you out of the element of the craziness that was going on. I think that's the story behind it. Again, I could be wrong, but regardless, I know we had uh, a tough last uh, couple of years um, uh, throughout everything that was going on with the pandemic and whatnot. So um, this is where I believe where F Boat Drinks had uh, come about. And uh, he did such a masterful um formulation of this soap um i think he did a phenomenal job just reading off the set notes of this before we get into the shave uh it's banana coconut rum uh frangipani which is um a municipal plant um that smells kind of like a soft peachy creamy fruity uh scent is what you get from uh frangipani kind of a weird name but that's one of the set notes and uh tangerine uh is in this uh it's very well done very tropical um, the inspiration behind it was to put you, uh, get you in the mindset of having a drink on a warm, breezy, sunny day cruising around the Caribbean. Uh, that's what was written in the description. And I cannot agree more. Uh, it is a really fantastic scent. I have it here whipped up in the Hendrix Classes and Company Bowl. I'm also using uh, one of the HCNC brushes uh, that I received uh, not too long ago. Um, and I'm going to be shaving with the uh, Ellsworth Apex and I'm going to be using the new Filoso blades uh, that I received uh, from Sharp Shaver from Philips. So I'm going to keep that blade in here. had used it the other day and I want to see how it responds uh, in the Apex. Uh, a couple honorable mentions of favorites from Sterling that I also highly recommend. Um, uh, this is from this is inspired by Creed's uh, Virgin Island Water. It's Island Man. Uh, this is very well done. This is another favorite of mine that I picked up. Actually, I have the date here in April of 2022. Um, and also Coconut Lime. So I'm going to start incorporating these into upcoming reviews. I think I'm going to start having a series of uh, fragrances and soaps uh, and shaves uh, of the summer. Uh, and some of my favorites, and I'll share with you guys. So as you guys see... In the background, a lot of times I put the uh, soaps that I'm going to be shaving that are upcoming. Uh, but I think I'm going to go down the path of a tropical shave, uh, shaves uh, of the summer and um, share with you guys what are some of my favorites. But those three are my favorites from Sterling's. They're bangers. They're really good. And uh, if you're looking to get put in the mood and feel like you're on vacation... Uh, those are great uh, pickups to get from Sterling, and I believe all three of these are available. So you got 
Island Man, Coconut Lime. I know there's also Creamy Coconut, which I have, uh, but I don't believe that's available this year. And Boat Drinks um, is not around right now, but hopefully it will come back next year. But this, in my opinion, is a must-have if Rod is able to obtain an old um, banana oils. I actually have this here. I actually picked this up in August of 2022. So I had it for almost two years now. All right, so let's get right into shade. Let's not waste any more time. Got the blade loaded. Let's wet the face. And let's get right into uh, this Father's Day shave. Yeah, we went out for uh, breakfast this morning with my two boys, my wife. So I had a great time. So I figured when we get back, I'll get a shave in. And I've been wanting to shave with boat drinks for uh, the last two weeks, actually. So I'm going to break out some of my favorite sterling scents that I think are perfect for the summer. Yeah, for those of you that have broke drinks, you know how good it is. It definitely puts you in the mood. Definitely one to have. So some of the soaps that I'm considering uh, bringing back uh, for upcoming reviews. I'm going to shave with Island Man from Sterling. Uh, Coconut Lime from Sterling. And then I'm going to bring out the Brewer. Brewer. From uh, Zingari Man. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that. Uh, which is also a really great summer scent. I have uh, Road Trip from Hoffman's. Which is also very good. So I'm going to use that. I'm trying to think what else do I have. Hiatus from uh, Holy Car. Uh, pina colada scent I got a lot what else do I have that's uh, that falls in this wheelhouse I'll think about it as I go along and of course Savannah right the, the peach and tobacco from 3, 4, 5 soaps I definitely want to get back that back into rotation I'm actually considering picking up that EDP and uh, Bomb of Savannah. I was having it in my cart. I think I may purchase that today. All right, so this is the first time use of the Filoso blade in the uh, Ellsworth Apex. So I'm giving this a run again today. I was a big fan of this blade yesterday, so much so that I did when I did my review of uh, Dromedaris from Boon Beard that I didn't even realize I was shaving with a new blade. So that was a good sign. But I hope you guys have a great day today with it being Father's Day if you're able to spend some, some time with your dad. Give your dad a call. Tell him how much you care about him. And it's, I know it's a tough time for some. Because uh, many of you I know don't have that time anymore with your dad, which is uh, tough. But remember all the good memories. And as, uh, you know, Brett, my friend of mine, Brett, sent me a comment today. You know, always let your kids know that you're there for them. And that they can always depend on you. That's a big part of being a father. Try to be there for your kids no matter what. I always try to do that for my boys. My dad lives in uh, Myrtle Beach. I try to get down there as much as possible, but, you know, sometimes twice a year. But, uh, 
I wish I could spend time with him more. I know he lived in New York for a while. Kind of went down south to, you know, re enjoy his retirement. It was either Florida or Myrtle Beach. And Myrtle Beach was uh, where he ended up. Because I have family down there. And from my wife's side. And he had come down with us on vacation one time and really liked it. Uh, down at Myrtle Beach. And... Uh, one of his friends that he worked with in New York for many years also lived in Myrtle Beach. So that kind of helped him to decide to move down there himself. Plus, my wife's family is literally, you know, five minutes from where he lives. You know, so they check in on him from time to time. My dad's into uh, riding his bikes. He's got two Harleys, an Indian. He's got a Mustang bullet that, you know, he just recently picked up that he's enjoying. So those are kind of his hobbies, just getting out riding with his, uh, his buddies. And uh, he had a classic uh, 1981 Corvette that he sold, but it needed a lot of work still. But again, uh, always good to see my father. And uh, I have a planned trip to go down there at the end of July. So I'm going to go down there with my boys and uh, spend some time with them before we go away on vacations and stuff. So, yep, make the most of it. That's what I try to do. Still dealing with the issues with my uh, my knee. It's, I think it's uh, possibly sciatica. Never had those issues before, but thinking a uh, neurological issue, maybe, you know, perhaps, uh, not perhaps, it is related to my car accident from uh, a couple years ago. That's, I think, catching up to me, unfortunately. So I'm beginning uh, treatment on that as an assumption that it may be neurological. So, so kind of nursing that a little bit. So that kind of sucks. So that's the story. Just trying to enjoy the day. Take it easy. I may try to get on the bike today just to get some exercise in to move a little bit because I've been kind of nursing this, uh, nursing my leg, which has been really frustrating. Yeah, so that's that. Great scent. Really love this scent. I like it a lot. Apex always delivers. Uh, I do. I can say now that I do like this Veloso blade a lot. But I do have so many other blades to use. That, you know, will last me. Uh, I picked up a couple hundred of uh, a lot of those Russian blades. Ever since that Matt Basarsic video came out that I think we all kind of hit the panic button on. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love the efficiency on this Apex. I say it all the time. Every time I shave with it, it's always uh, offers a great shave. You know, it's a somewhat mild, but very efficient. It's probably uh, one of my most efficient razors. I mean, they they all have uh, like even the carbon. Carbon's very efficient, but this one is it's a mild feel, but you still get the efficiency. Which is always appreciated. Figured I'd go with a side pass today rather than against the grain. I usually do an against the grain on the second pass. Yeah, definitely getting into the uh, tropical summer mood. 
I think I may use uh, Island Man next. I think that'll be the next one up. So perhaps, you know what, make this uh, Sterling week. Get a bunch of shaves in for Sterling. They most definitely deserve some love out there. So if you guys have your, your Sterling scents that may fall into a summer vibe, definitely go for it. They never disappoint. All right, 15 minutes in, you're going to wrap this up a little, a little soon, but I appreciate you guys joining. Thank you, uh, channel has uh, upped, increased another 15 subscribers in the last week or so, so thank you very much. For those of you that recently subscribed to the channel and anybody new that uh, would appreciate the consideration, uh, look around. Got plenty of videos on uh, different razors and soaps that I've reviewed over the last year. Uh, I'm definitely approaching a full year soon of this channel. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. And uh, I will continue. Fix my shirt here. Looking good. Got a nice clean shave going. I'm going to be using the uh, matching splash. Kind of wish I picked up the uh, matching balm for, for this. I, I meant to do it, but now it's sold out. So uh, maybe next year I'll pick that up. But really, truly a great scent. Oh, really good. You really get the banana in this. The banana is phenomenal. I can understand why uh, Rod wanted to make sure kind of to take, you know, shelve this for right now and come back when he's able to obtain the, the uh, original banana oil. But it's get, definitely got that booziness from the rum. It is very fruity. You do get the coconut. It really is a fantastic scent. And again, this is the original one. I had this for two years. So I can't compare it to the uh, recent release from this year, which was a different banana oil. I heard many of you liked it. You liked the new banana oil. So some of you liked it better than the original. Um, I was actually going to pick up the new one just to compare, but I don't need two soaps. Um, you know, the one is fine. But great shave uh, with boat drinks. Uh, definitely highly recommend this from Sterling, especially during the summertime. Uh, really awesome looking label, by the way, too, if I may add. Um, I think he did it. This is probably a bad, this is a badass label for sure. Um, and I'm going to continue to shave. I'm going to probably shave with Island Man next, which is also another favorite of mine from Sterling. Uh, and then bring in uh, Coconut Lime to keep that going. And I'll continue to add others in the series of tropical summer scents that I enjoy uh, during this time of the year. So I'll be sure to share that with you guys. With that, hope you guys enjoyed this shave. You guys have a great day. And again, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Have a good one, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.